hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to be making fried mackerel fish stew now this is my favorite stew recipes because it's so versatile it's easy to make and it is delicious so without saying more let's get started so for this recipe i'm going to be using four medium sized mackerel fish and for the other ingredients they'll be listed in the description box down below now I've washed, cleaned and cut them into my preferred sizes and I'm going to be seasoning them with some garlic powder, some onion powder, one seasoning cube and some salt. You don't need too much because the fish will also be going into the stew. Now I'm just going to massage making sure everything is thoroughly coated. Then I'll cover with some clean film and I'll marinate this for about 30 minutes to one hour before we begin frying now in a pan i'm just going to add some vegetable oil enough to fry the fish and also cook the stew then i'll toss in some onion and this is just for flavor and once the oil is hot but not too hot i'll begin adding my fish so right here i'm just trying to separate them to give enough room for the fish to fry properly so i'm not going to be frying them until they are too dry but if you prefer it that way feel free to do so or feel free to fry them for longer at this point the fish has fried just the way i want it and i'm just going to gently flip them over to the other side so that they can fry as well now if you're still watching and haven't already liked the video please do so and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already now there are so many ways you can cook your mackerel fish stew you can toss them in the air fryer before transferring them into your stew another way to cook it is to toss your uncooked fish into the stew when your stew is almost ready because you know fish doesn't take too long to cook you can also choose to bake them in the oven before using them for your stew but i chose to do it this way because i just feel that the oil just adds a distinct flavor to your fish stew so at this point the fish has fried to my satisfaction and this is how they are looking and like i said earlier you can fry them for longer if you want them a bit dry or browner next into the oil i use to fry the fish i'll add some chopped onions and some minced garlic we're building flavors this way i'll stir and fry these for about a minute now i'm just adding some curry powder and i'll stir for a couple of seconds after which i'll add some tomato paste i love adding tomato paste into my stews because i think it builds the flavor even more and i'm going to fry this until it breaks down and it turns from a bright red into a deep red like you'll see in the video At this point you'll notice that the tomatoes have broken down and it has turned into a deep red color and this is the perfect time to add our blended tomato and pepper mix you can always combine your tomatoes and pepper mix however you want but i use some tomatoes some bell peppers some scotch bonnet peppers some paprika peppers also known as tatashi then i also added some onions and garlic to the mixture to reduce your cooking time you can also boil this mixture ahead before frying your stew once the oil starts to flow to the top like you see in the video I'm just going to mix everything together and this means that my stew is almost ready and I know it's time to start adding my seasonings. And to season the stew, I'll be adding some curry powder, some dried thyme, some seasoning cubes and some salt to taste. And I'm just going to mix to combine and let this fry for about 3-4 to four minutes before adding our fried mackerel fish. Mm -hmm. 
after a couple of minutes i'm going to gently add the fish into the stew and this is the point where all the flavors combine to give you a stew that distinct fish flavor that we're looking for i'm going to let the fish soak in all the flavors from the stew and you have to be careful at this point so you don't break your fish now everywhere smells really good i must tell you and this stew you can serve it with just about anything it's so versatile i'm going to let the stew cook for about five minutes on low heat after which your mackerel fish stew is ready to be served now this was my sunday stew and i served it with some white rice i hope you try this recipe out Thanks for watching and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching. Bye.